Hello everyone, in this video we are going to replace a very old Honeywell um, analog thermostat with a brand new Google Nest Thermostat E and as you can see here, so uh, this thermostat is a heat only thermostat it's uh, powering a oil boiler uh, which had radiant heat uh, basically it's boiling the water and circulates around uh, the baseboard installed around the house and um, so it's a three zone system. This one actually, I think it's the main zoom uh, that's actually, or it's one of the zoom that's working. So uh, I'm gonna be working on this one that's currently working. And uh, it's again, heat only and it's oil, uh, it's an oil water heater. Um, so I guess first thing first is we take off this cover and you can see the components inside. This analog thermostat is actually powered by a mercury. Um, ball over here that controls or senses the temperature okay uh it's old however it still works perfectly fine but uh, we're gonna have it replaced with the brand new google nest e uh there are just a couple of screws that you need to unscrew uh to take the base off we're gonna be careful because you don't want to break that mercury ball and uh, the mercury is toxic and it's really hard to recover once it's out of its glass container okay All right, so I unscrewed one of the screw and I think there is a few more uh, screws over here that needs to be unscrewed. So another one here. Okay. And it looks like it's so old, the wires are already all fused onto the, onto the thing which makes it really hard to take off. So I'm gonna do it from the side. So if you have a really old system, expect similar results, okay? Right there. So here's the old thermostat, really, really old. It's probably from the 60s or the 70s. Um, here is the wires, a red and a white, and with steroids. I'm gonna try to straight it so it's easier to connect in a little bit. Still one screw attached. We're gonna remove that screw, and then we're gonna unbox the Nest Thermostat E and install it over here in the Zoom. All right, Google Nest Thermostat E. Let's open it up. So a lot of electric companies actually uh, have rebates when you buy the Nest uh, through their website. And you usually can get a probably like $30, $40 discount uh, where you buy it. And uh, this is probably one of the better smart thermostats out there that doesn't require a common wire, which is a white wire. Uh, sometimes it's, it's powering the um, uh, your AC or heating system and if you don't have that wire a lot of other smart thermostat doesn't work however this one still works okay right there um, looks uh, looks beautiful so I played around with it at Home Depot uh, when I went over there and shopping around it's a um, let's just say it's very plastic however very good looking uh, nonetheless there is a, looks like a home button over there. And this whole thing, the, uh, the exterior ring is, uh, is rotatable. So you can rotate it around and you can click it once you install it into the panel. Okay, so that's, that's, a, that's a brain, that's the CPU part or the control panel. And opening up more stuff inside, you have your installation guide. Uh, and that's your back panel where you're gonna just align for my case I'm gonna put the red wire over there and probably the white wire over there probably if not I'm gonna put it on the um, one of the other wires maybe hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed it works um, what's more in here hopefully it's a mounting hardware so you have a, 
a base plate to cover the nest if you are installing it over an existing system. Usually the existing system is square and it's larger and this plate should cover it nicely. But for mine, I think because I'm going to renovate this room sooner or later, I'm not going to use this plate. I'm just going to directly mount the, the thing uh, or like the wiring system directly onto the, onto the wall. And then we're just going to screw it in and test it really quick because eventually I'm not going to have that broken wall over there. Okay, so let's go back to the wall and uh, we're going to put it in there and then start mounting it. So it says before you start, make sure to turn off the power to the heating and cooling system, which I already did. So there's no power there. It's not going to cause any weird wiring if you wire it wrong before you start. However, let's, let's just go ahead and do that since uh, the whole thing is super, super simple. So a really cool touch is it's got a building lever over here so you can know exactly where it's perfectly leveled. And uh, that in turn uh, should align your Nest thermostat really, really nicely. So basically what you're going to do is you put the thing over here, kind of nicely align it straight. And uh, once it's straight according to the, to the level, you screw it in with the two included screws. And then you mount the wire, the red one. So I have two wires, super simple. The red one to the red and the white one to W1 over here, okay? If you have other kind of colors and cables, make sure you read the instructional manual, especially because if you have a more complicated system with he both heating and cooling, uh, there's gonna be more wires for sure. And for me, I only have heating, so that's the two wires I have to worry about. And uh, let me go ahead and screw it in, and I'm gonna put the wire on there, and then the setup is almost complete. And instead of using the provided really, really long screw, I'm actually using a shorter screw that I had in my toolbox um, because I don't really want a screw necessarily that long to go through the wall. So I'm just gonna very carefully screw stuff in and get it leveled, which it all already looks almost leveled. And then for the very end, I'm gonna hand tighten. Just to make sure it's nice and secure. And next we're gonna connect the wires. So I'm just gonna push the red wire in the red hole and I'm gonna push the white wire into the white. Like so. I'm gonna push it to the side. So, I think the installation is almost almost complete, okay? Um, you know the wires inside when this thing is a recessed, okay? So you see the white and the red is connected. Now we're gonna go back, turn on the power to the heating system, and I'm gonna put on the, the control, control unit and hopefully it powers up, okay? All right, so turn on the power. Just gonna align this thing and push it in. And it's blinking, so let's hope that's a good sign. All right, it's working. I'm amazed. Uh, that's, that's such a simple replacement procedure. So uh, sooner, uh, I mean, in a, in a couple days, I'm also getting a Nest third gen um, thermostat to replace one of the other um, zones uh, of the heating system. So I'm going to put this one here, which is the Nest Thermostat E, and uh, in a few days I'm going to put up the Nest Thermostat Gen 3. 
So if you guys are interested, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, keep an eye out for the uh, for the upcoming video. OK, so for now, it's booting up for the first time and looks like there's an indicator on the top, at which, you know, flashes different colors. And this is your main LCD screen with a Google logo. So I will have to stop the recording and go into my phone and actually set the whole system up properly. OK, um, but let's. Uh, Oh wow, this this feels really nice. The ring feels premium, even though it's not the Gen Three. This is like all plastic. It still feels super super smooth and nice. Okay, so I'm just just gonna start whichever I can, and basically you click the center to confirm, and now you can select the equipment. You, if you are a contractor, you can choose pro. If you are a pro, if you're a homeowner, you can choose homeowner. Already detected the um, the wires automatically, which is awesome. So the red is power and W is heat. Okay, so we're gonna continue. So I only have a heating system. It's already confirmed. Uh, we're gonna select oil because that's uh, that's what I use. And you have other options for gas, electric, and liquid propane. But I'm using oil. Um, and it's a, I would say it's, uh, it's radiators because it's, uh, it's, uh, on the baseboard. And now we're going to go into the nest app and I'm going to set up my, let's see. So since I already have the nest app, because I have the nest outdoor camera, a whole bunch of other products I've reviewed in the past, uh, it shouldn't be an issue for me. And I know the nest app is actually a very simple easy to pair process. So I'll come back later after I set it up and show you guys in general if the thing works or not. Okay. So the setup process couldn't be any simpler. I basically opened up my Nest app and I just chose add a product, scan the QR code, which was displayed on the, uh, on the Nest uh, thermostat and it's already set up. It, it takes no time at all. So really, really simple. And I'm, I'm just gonna omit the step and not showing you guys for privacy reasons. So. Interestingly, uh, I need to actually confirm on my phone to be able to continue using the Nest thermostats, which, which is what I did. Everything's configured and it asked me the option to test or not. So I can try to test now and see if the oil burner would kick in and uh, start the thermostat. Yep, so I just heard the, uh, the pump started uh, to pumping the, uh, the water in the pipes. And uh, it, it's, it's pretty simple and pretty easy. Um, so, and over here you can control your heat settings. And again, I only have a heater con connected to the nest. So right now the current temperature is displayed over here as 71 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I can have it to go as low as 50 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the echo setting. Um, if you go, I guess, if you go above 68, the echo setting disappears. And let's see if I set it to 75, maybe. It also gives you an estimate on when the temperature would reach there. All right, guys. So to wrap up this uh, review of the Nest Thermostat E, um, it has, uh, I have installed it for a few days and uh, it's been working without any issue at all. For the most part in this room, which I haven't had any furniture in, I basically just leave the thermostat to off position, but uh, I can easily turn it back on and then easily adjust the temperature to the desired setting as I wish, either over here or in my uh, Nest app. And uh, so far, no issues at all. And I actually disabled the auto learning because um, all I want the thermostat to do is I'm going to be able to control it wirelessly through my Nest Wi-Fi app. And it has done such a great job and uh, no complaints so far. Uh, really love the design of the thermostat. It's very space saving, extremely efficient, running on only two wires. I was looking at other thermostat options that are actually slightly more expensive. Um, 
but a lot of those requires a common wire to be attached. The Nest just requires two wires and it's working fantastically. Uh, the app is very polished. The auto learning feature is also fantastic if you want to use that. And it has a very detailed scheduling, um, scheduling program. I'll show you guys if I can. Let's see, go into settings. Uh, so the schedule here, look at that. Like it's already pre-programmed the schedule for you. However, you can um, customize the schedule either over here or I think mainly in the app. So in the app, you can customize the schedule and it displays it over here. Um, but again, I don't really use this feature, so you can also do it here. Um, but anyway, I'm not using the schedule. I'm not using a lot of the other features. All I do is turn it on occasionally and uh, do it wirelessly. So uh, really great product. And I really love the fact that this, this thing is super easy to install. Um, the only downside compared to the slightly better Nest third gen is it doesn't have the far sight. And uh, so without the far sight, it's always just going to display the current temperature. Um, so it's always just going to display that. Um, with the far sight, I'll show you guys really quick. On the uh, third gen, it has a, um, a beautiful LCD screen and that displays the weather or other features that you want it to display. And as you can see, the LCD is also larger. So um, the knob is also very hefty stainless steel knob. So if you want the look of a better, if you want a better look and you want the far sight, um, you want more compatibility, get the Nest third gen. Otherwise, the Google Nest Thermostat E is more than enough to um, satisfy your most demands and customize a very detailed schedule if you want to go that route. Okay, so questions, comments, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe and I sure see you in the next video. Take care.